you know, and that's, I mean, that's another thing that drew me to you is that I'm, uh, I'm, I don't know. I love labor. I love the guys who are actually oh. out there doing the work. You know, I've got an affinity towards fighting for those guys because yeah. that's what I did at my other job as yeah. construction guys. And I felt like management would somehow overvalue themselves. And I'm like, no, these are the guys doing the work. Yeah. And that's what I heard in, in your story also is yeah. the guy you talked about relationships and the guys and communications. And uh, how do you, I mean, I, I know, where is that affinity from? Cause you did it yourself. Absolutely. But then you, I mean, you got to understand the world doesn't run without these guys, mm -hmm. you know, I mean, we could be as good as we want in the office. If they don't turn up at 6 a.m. Mm -hmm. and get on that roof in the sun. Yeah. It doesn't happen. Mm -hmm. If men don't build roads, if what you do to put the water under the roads mm -hmm. isn't done, then people don't have water. Yeah. And I think one thing that we mess up, particularly in society or I think social media causes a lot is we forget the guys that make this world go around. Right. Yeah. You know, I, I, I love soldiers with all my heart. And I think I, I love anybody that stands up for soldiers mm -hmm. <clears throat> and I'm not comparing the two, mm -hmm. but what I am saying is I don't think we appreciate the men that build this country enough. Right. Because without them, we don't have a mall. Right. We don't have a house without a framer. Mm -hmm. We don't have a toilet without a plumber. And I think there a time will come when enough young men check out to drop ship mm -hmm. and do other things where there, there's going to be a YouTuber one day and saying, Hey, the new hack is if you know how to roof, right. You know, I, you <laughs> made that happen. point earlier it's today, gonna, dude, it's going to happen. Talking about plumbers and about the people doing the work, because right. you're right. It's, 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 uh, I don't know. It's a process where ups and downs, things are valued, things are devalued, but man, that skill of labor, and right. making a product that is going to come back. You're right. And it is a skill. Yeah. Let me, t let me just say this. I, when we were talking last night, I was really, you remember I was telling you about my general superintendent. He's yeah. been putting these buildings up since before I've been alive. Right. He's 52 or four He's 52, or something. Yeah. yeah. And, and I called him up because <clears throat> we were talking about him and I was like, man, I haven't called him in a couple of weeks. Mm. So I called him this morning and I, and I, and I gave him an assignment. And I said, listen, Go buy yourself a steak. Mm -hmm. Take Johnny, which is the supervisor on the job we're doing in Georgia. Send me a picture of you two eating a steak. You know, because when I think about him and I think about the skills it takes for him to do what he does, when he has to get a 200, 300, 400, 800,000 square foot building, plumb and square. Yeah. That's not a normal skill. Right. It's a dying skill. Right. And if he gets that wrong, when we go to put the roof on, the roof's going to be crooked. Yeah. And that's expensive. Yeah. So he's insurance just as much as he is a guy out there working in the field. Bullshit. Right. He's also training the next generation of guys. Mm -hmm. What I think is tricky for us is, is that because if a young man goes on a date with a girl, let's say, mm -hmm. I've had it happen to me. Yeah. What do you do? Oh, well, I, I do metal buildings. <laughs> yeah. She's going to be like, I'm not with a tech guy last night. What? Yeah. Metal buildings? What are you, right. scrub? Right. You know? But they don't, I mean, you can be country balling too. You yeah. Know? But yeah. Um, I think that it's harder for a young man today to take pride in working with his hands hmm. because he gets on Facebook and he feels like he's lost. Right. Because he's not drop shipping from a beach. Mm -hmm. Now, I push the real world mm -hmm. and... I do think the real world um, is one of the best online schools ever to be assembled. It is the best online school ever to be assembled. If right. you want to work on the internet, the real world is the thing to do. Mm -hmm. um, because the guys that are teaching those classes about mm -hmm. how to drop ship or do FBA right. or copyright or whatever, they actually have businesses where they they are literally millionaires from that business, right. which makes them automatically 10x better than college. Mm -hmm. So if you want to take that route, if you if you have an affinity for those things, I think right. that's good. But I think if a young man likes to work with his hands yeah. and he doesn't want to drop ship or copyright, mm -hmm. we somehow need to figure out a way to make that respectable mm -hmm. in society right. so he can get the positive feedback he deserves. Yeah. So for me to come on a podcast and say it, yeah, it's not a problem. Right, not a problem because I've packed sheet, I've put roof on. It's hot. It's dude. It is physically and mentally right tough. So, I res I respect the guys that build the country, and and I'll never come off of that.
Yeah, me neither. I mean, there's a Jordan Peterson has a clip where he's talking about the guys who are breaking their backs to keep this country afloat yeah. or lit up, the electricians, the linemen, the construction workers. And yeah, I mean, I love it because I do feel like those guys don't get the respect they deserve and they they do bust their ass every day. Oh, it's hard. And, and, you know, I know it must be tough. You come home from work, you know, you're trying to pay the bills. You, see, you you go online like everybody does and they see all these people with money and that must be like man what am i doing wrong and that's why i was i was interested in in your story how you went from like just a guy getting by paying the bills to now you mentioned dubai yeah. and i mean it looks like it's like everybody's dream as far as money goes yeah you know and it's just like it feels like if you did it yeah couldn't others do it right i mean